And we have the beautiful Natalia with us, ready to share about her experience in Soul to Soul. I'm so excited to dive in with you today. Before we do, could you just share with us how old you are, what you do, and all of that good stuff? Yeah, so I'm 33, almost 34 in about a week, um, and I work in sales uh, within consulting. Yeah. Beautiful. What was it that had you get on a call? about soul to soul yeah so when i um when i watched the um the um pre you know work you, you had the webinar yes um there was a lot that talked to me so it was particularly about being able to um you know connect to those things that might be stopping me and um, you know, being able to unlock some of those, you know, things that maybe I just didn't understand that were holding me back. And so that that spoke to me because it made sense with, you know, as as you know, many of us work with through the, much of the psychology work and all that stuff. And you mentioned it. Um, and and I had. Um, but then, you know, I wanted to dive deeper and figure out, like, what was there for me to unlock that maybe I wasn't seeing. Yeah, nice. Beautifully said. I think so many people listening right now, you know, have come up against this big frustration because it's not like you haven't been trying. It's not like you haven't been, as you said, working through some of the psychological things, but information without activation means you can't actually experience big, big change. So that's what it's, that's what you really, I was really hearing in that you're like, yeah, I'm doing the things and I understand a lot of what's going on, but I need to shift it. So I would love to, so many things I want to talk about with you. Um, let's just dive into even being on the breakthrough call. Um, you showed up really powerfully on the call and obviously were invited in. And then just as you were about to, you know, make that decision, um, full transparency, there was a bit of resistance there, correct, around I don't want to get into more debt. I'd love to hear from you what was coming up for you truthfully, because there are many people that have had the same thing come up. So if you could just share candidly about that moment and then how you yeah. Possibly, yeah. So for me, that was huge because, um, you know, when it comes to spending for myself, I've done it previously. So I didn't want, you know, this to just be like another program and another thing to do. And, you know, and, and I was just like, you know, it's, is it going to be worth the, 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 the expense basically? Um, but at the same time, I wanted to find out. Right. And, um, and, you know, even like at the end of the day, wh wherever I spent it, it was going to be for me, but I wanted to make sure that at least I tried, did it and was able to see from that, you know, okay, now I know, and I, you know, I did this um, for myself. And so showing up and being able to be like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is, this is for me. So that was yeah. important. It was a really big moment. I just want to go a little bit deeper into it. You know, what Nati shared is, is, is where a lot of people get stopped. And so I just want to offer a breakthrough to everyone because Nati was so coachable on the call in that, you know, she was like, look, I'm not getting, she was very clear. She's like, I'm not getting into any more debt. I've, you know, I've done that. And while that's all very logical, the truth is, is when you find something that feels right, especially when it is going to further develop you and put you further down your path, it is not a debt. Buying material goods, yes, they're debts and they don't pay dividends. But when you invest in yourself with something that feels right, we don't have all the proof up front. We don't have any of that because you can't know it until you do it. But what Nati did was really proud of her in that moment. It was no push from us, but it was like, hey, I'm going to hold some extra space for you to see what's really going on here because this is an investment in you. And that was the mindset shift. And she got it straight away and literally pivoted and was like, yeah, I'm all in. Boom. And it was really powerful to witness because we know the power of this program. We know we get outcomes. And we also know who's ready and who's not. And I knew at hello, I was like, oh, this, this woman's ready and she's someone that we want to work with. So, but it was just beautiful watching you move through that so elegantly, um, going from like, no, I'm not going to get into more debt to suddenly being like, 
actually, yes, I'm all in and I deserve this and I'm going to do it. It was really beautiful. And that is a very defining moment for your journey because you chose you in that moment instead of the predictable fear cycle, the scarcity cycle, the I'm not worth it cycle. You stood up to all of that through one thing, which was yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm doing this. Yes, I deserve it. Yes, of course, I'm going to invest in me. And the universe clocked that. And so I just wanted to really spotlight this and celebrate you for who you were for yourself in that moment because that is a, an incredibly strong new mindset that is only going to continue to serve you for other decisions that come into your life where you can now drop into feeling into, does this feel right for me? Because so often we're making decisions from our intellect. And it's amazing, I'll say this, how people are like, well, I'll put together a deposit for a house because we're like, logically, that's just what people do. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a fun thing in our society. So, And they're saving a lot more than the investment for this program because it's autopilot. Yep, that's what I'm meant to be doing. Yep, that's a good, good decision versus really actually being connected to it because the higher decision could be, you know what? I'd actually rather do that with my soulmate go and get, get, a, get a place with my soulmate and I'd rather spend the time right now investing in me so I can attract in the most lit relationship. So it's, it's getting conscious around what we're choosing and what we're saying yes to because for many other decisions, we're on autopilot and we're just like, yeah, of course I'll do that because we think that that's the right thing versus hang on a minute, what could be more right than putting yourself first and getting the best support? We're just not taught that. We're taught that, oh, there must be something wrong with us if we need to spend money on ourselves to, to be better. And it's the opposite. It's actually like, hang on a second, if I want to be really powerful in my life, fuck yes, I'm going to get the right support. So just doing an extra deep dive with you, Natty, to really um, commend you on sort of how you've shown up for yourself. So moving on, um, what would you say was different about this process for you than the other work that you've done? Um, I feel like, you know, it just, it was very clear for me. Um, and in a way, you know, as we went through from week to week, it seemed, you know, that I could already tell whatever I needed and that's exactly what would come next. And so for me, that made sense. Um, and, and like I said, it just made sense. It was kind of like gut feeling wise, like there wasn't really anything that didn't resonate with me at all. Just, you know, it, it was just kind of like, well, duh, yeah, this is necessary, you know? Um, yeah. and just being able to get that and actually, you know, even now being able to just like put my foot down, that's a huge part of what came out of that. Right. Um, and, you know, in yes. my case, as you, as you may remember, I mean, there were like huge decisions that I made because of feeling so empowered and feeling so yes. comfortable, you know, in my, in my own skin and also like with my gut feeling and with it being able to just, you know, tap into and understand, okay, this is me and this is not me. And, you know, what, yes. what really you know, was my queen actually making a good decision or what guides me to the right place and being able to tell the difference, um, you know, of like, okay, yeah, no, that's tied to this, this other, you know, backstory that's no longer yes. me. Yeah, yeah. The clarity you're even speaking with right now, and just the relaxed energy and the flow, like you're available right now in your energy. And when I first met you, you weren't going like this, but you may as well have spoken to me on that phone call, especially when we invited you in with bodyguards up. It was like a, an energy I could feel between you and me. And if I'm feeling that, so are the men. <laughs> Absolutely, and, yeah. And it was a real scared little girl that was running your life, not the powerful goddess queen that so knows who she is and what she wants and also knows she can have it. And that's what's now leading and governing uh, your life and it's palpable uh, you really coming out of that masculine construct and that reactive fearful tough exterior that wasn't reflecting the truth of who you are yeah. the truth of who you are is delicious expansive feminine connected lovable abundant powerful intuitive yeah. hello this is the energy you're yeah. sitting in right now it's a, a 
big, big difference. Huge. Yeah. You know, what's been really funny is I just wanted to test it out and I went on dating, like one of the dating apps that, you know, I just, I used to like, um, and I literally like every single guy that, um, that like we both matched. And when they spoke to me, the first thing that they say to me is there's something about your energy and I'm not even kidding. And it's like every single one. So for me, I was just like, this is crazy. Like what? Like, it's How just, I was that? not expecting. Yeah. I was not expecting that. It like, and that was just like me recording an audio and they just like, you know, immediately just would, that's what they say. It's like, there's an energy about you. And I'm just like, okay, then there we go. Receive it. You know, honestly, I can say from the first call we had to now, of course, they're saying that you're in your sensuality. You're like connected to, to your magic before it was all fear. It was you, you help, you know, cause there was a lot of rage and things that needed to come out and you know um a lot of distortion and and this is what i want you to hear right now when you're watching this there is nothing wrong with you you are not broken you are not damaged goods you are not unlovable none of that shit and that's my issue with therapy is that we can get caught in kind of trying to fix all these things versus like hang on a minute you came into this world whole let's get you back to that and that's what these guys are feeling because we truly are all energy and what they're saying as well is most of the people I, I'm matching with don't have that factor. <laughs> They're not, you've got that star quality now, which is just yeah. you being juiced up on you. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's so easy that? now to also see like, like I'll have a conversation with one of the guys and something will just not feel right. And I'll just be like, you know what? And I'll, I'll tell them, I'm not going to ghost them because I don't want that either. Of course. But I will tell them, you know, I just don't feel it. And then there it goes. And so, you know, so it's just so much easier to be able to, you know, match with the right person as opposed to matching with a whole bunch of people maybe. And then having to like go through date after date after date. And it's like, I'm not going to give my time to every single person. It's just, it's not Why? doable. Because you know what's coming through you right now? Trust. Mm -hmm. Trust in yourself. Yeah. You know, you can have it now. If you didn't trust, you'd be there trying to reply to everyone and they would not be saying you got great energy. They'd be like, there's something needy about this chip. Yeah. Right? Trust. Because you've got your own back now. You've got your own heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's whether you know it or not, that's what's emitting from you on this call. It's a different whole level of self-acceptance. Yeah. You don't need that relationship the way that you did before. You're like, hang on. I'm going to do this if it feels good for me. It's so powerful. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm loving this. So what are you, I mean, I think we've kind of touched on it just then, but what are you most proud of that you got from soul to soul? Um, like you said, I think just acceptance is huge, right? Um, being able to realize that there is no such thing as perfection. Um, and you know, it, there's just me and you know, one of the, the, you know, songs that, that I picked for myself, right. Um, as I like, you know, and I, <laughs> I sing every single day. Yeah. Um, and you know, it, it actually, you know, one of the quotes is, um, um, I'm no beauty queen. I'm just beautiful me. And it's to me that spoke so clearly. Right. Because I'm just like, yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, obviously shared this with you and, and, you know, with the coaches, but, um, for me, it was a lot of the, the stories were around you have this standard of beauty, um, particularly in certain cultures, you know, there's that huge, like if you're, you know, if you're a woman, you must be, you know, this height or, you know, yes. this weight or your waist needs to be this small or, you know, and to be able to wear whatever, you know, and so being able to say, well, yeah, sure. That's, that's great that they're beautiful, but I have my own beauty and it's not just whether, you know, like I have extra, you know, chub here and there it's being okay with, okay, this has been my history. Of course I want to, you know, probably end up getting to a certain place, but right now I love myself the way I am because yes. this is my body. This is my healthy body yes. that I have, that I carry, that I, you know, I have every single yes. day. And so it's like, 
you know, realizing that and being grateful for, for all of that. Yeah, you are, I mean, this energy is magnetic. It is captivating. Uh, it's you so in your feminine. One last, last thing I want to share is, you know, um, she got off this cycle, but in soul to soul, and then we see this a lot, is sometimes there'll be someone in the space that's still trying to come in, right, who was wanting to fling with you or have a little bit of nookie on the side. And this came up for you where it was like, we're like, yep. no, like, no, because you're still recalibrating who you're stepping into and you've attracted this person in from that past you no they don't get to be with you on this journey because you're flushing out those lower timelines and those those ways of being and so at the time I know it was a little bit like what and then you got it and you're like no hang on I'm clearing the decks for me and then you're like well and then it even went into a deeper level of like actually prioritizing those date nights from real reverence versus this is something the program's making me like it was really like suddenly everything yeah. clicked together and now you've gone back to the apps and we see this all the time people get off the apps for the program and they go back on the same app different Completely. outcome yeah and yeah, and, yeah and it's funny because I did notice like so some of the people did show up that were like from before and it's just so different the interaction I'm just like yeah, I remember I did match with you before, but I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> and it's just oh, like only because you because yeah. before you were like you're thinking, oh, this is my person, and now you're like, nah. And so even and that's what's that's what's beautiful is that clarity, and you're on this different like what happened was you're both down there before, right? You're attracting in from from not feeling worthy, and so these people come in, they're not feeling worthy, and then people get into a relationship, and it's like backs together instead of hearts. Then you come and do soul to soul, boop, 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 up the vibrational elevator of worthiness. You're up here now, not better than, just in a different frequency, different timeline, which means you can't attract that in. And if you do, it's a quick out of my vortex. You attract yeah. in matching the same. Where when you come together, oh, there's con oh, there's connection and heart and intimacy. Wow, different, completely different outcome. And you can yeah. see. You know that now versus if I just, I showed you that at the beginning, you understand it cerebrally, but now you've gone through the process. It's like, yeah. oh no, I really get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very different. And then there's, like you said, there's like not the neediness. It's like, I know it's coming. So it's, it's just as a matter of fact thing. So it's like, there's no worry about, oh, well, what if, or, yes. and, you know, and just thinking through things. And you know, that was a huge one for me too, was like not overthinking but yes. rather just feeling through and in my body, yes. you know, all of this. And yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and that's the key. You can't fake not needing it until you do this work. You might tell yourself, Oh, I'm not going to be needy. Sorry. It's still in your frequency. We can't trick the universe and energy. Yeah. We can't trick energy. So that's where people get it wrong where they're trying to be positive and they're trying to show this version, but the yeah. internal world is feeling lack, doubt, distrust, um, unlovable. And that's what's governing. So that's what you're sharing so much of today is just this alignment, congruence with you. And that's what you're full of is yourself. And that's why you're getting, meaning full of yourself in the best way, meaning you're full up from a full cup on the overflow. And that's where you're attracting in people saying, it's just something about what they're saying is, this chick actually loves herself and I can feel it. They don't realise that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. So what would you love to say to someone, Natu, that's where you were, who really knows they're ready to change, but they do have a bit of the fear coming up? What would you love to say to, you know, as if you were speaking to that version of you, you know, eight weeks ago, what would you love to say? Just do it, <laughs> you know, and, and actually do it, you know, put the time in and, um, you know, it's just like, you know, we don't we don't think about going to college or, you know, right. taking lessons or classes or whatever, you know, you just, it's as a matter of fact, right. Um, I say all the time, you know, I wish that in school they would teach us certain things. It would be amazing if there was such a thing as a class like this. Yeah. Um, and that's exactly how it felt for me. It was, you know, like I'm working I on had, it. I'm working on it. <laughs> that's yeah. Awesome. yeah. So for me, it was very much about, you know, there's, you know, this particular, you know, set of, 
lessons in a way, right? Which I loved, by the way, how organized everything was and um, being able to go step to step because that's what I've always known. So it was an easy transition into that as opposed to, you know, just like, okay, now flow. (laughs) So that gave me, you know, okay, there's, there's some structure here. I can, I can count on that. And, And it was just so much easier, you know, to be able to just let go and trust and know that, I was being held there was you know this you know container and you know sense of like okay you know the you know the the sweetness um that I I felt from you know the coaches and you know from you know even yourself like being there and you know being able to like get answers to my questions whenever I had questions and you know having that you know you know like time and time again week to week being able to like connect with someone right um so all of that, to me, it's, it's even better than, you know, when you go and you're even like, at, like, if we want to use that same analogy with with university, right, you're going and you're probably going to be with at least 40 other people. Um, in, in this case, that's, that's just not it, right. And so you've got a lot of attention to yourself. And then, I mean, I know my case was very different. <laughs> But, yeah. you know, because, because of how it worked out with, with, uh, with my vortex, but um you know, it just, I, for me, I, I would say, I would definitely tell myself to do it all over again. Um, yeah. It's something that I honestly, like, I, you, you know, you, you can't really put your finger on it. If there's one thing, you know, I would say again, the acceptance, but it's just it's huge. You can't some buy people, it. Some people don't get that in a lifetime. They die without having that in them. This is so much bigger. I'm getting chills. This is so much bigger than attracting in a soulmate. You've got you now and no one can take that away from you. And you have the tools for life that you can come back to. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on. We could obviously keep talking and talking, um, but I love the energy that you have <clears throat> relaxed into. The feminine that's coming through you. Um, again, I'm so proud of how you showed up on the call where you could have easily put your excuses in the way and bowed out and you didn't, you didn't. And that is why you were in a very different place. And let this inspire those of you watching. You're either going to let your excuses and your fear run your life, or you're going to stand up to them and go, no, I'm fucking worth this and more. And then when you say that and you take action from that place, the universe brings that back. And that is why Nati is experiencing a whole different level just not just in one area with the men, but in all areas of how she makes decisions, how she shows up at work, what she's choosing for herself with friendships, all of it, tight boundaries. So it is stunning to see you in this new space. And um, yeah, if you've got any, if people got any questions, can they reach out to you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, I'm on Facebook. So beautiful. Don't bombard her, but just if there was something you resonated, <laughs> yeah. resonated with, you know, I'm sure she'd be happy to ask a few questions. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Are the queen unleashed? All righty. <laughs>